Hello, welcome back to Comic Con 2017 here on Games Radar. We're joined by David Givens for a very special how to uh, here at Comic Con. You're going to show us uh, how to draw something. Well, yeah, yeah, and it will be very, very special because it's under unique circumstances, a, a huge crowd, the crudest of tools. Hopefully, a work of art will emerge. So you're going to draw something from a uh, Rogue Trooper. I am going to draw Rogue Trooper himself. Perfect. So, obviously, you've been doing this for a long time. Have any of the techniques that you're using changed over the years? Well, I think drawing is, is still drawing. I mean, you know, you can use pens and pencils or you can do it digitally. And uh, uh, even within that, there's a variety of pencils you can use, mechanical ones, wooden ones. You can ink with a pen or a brush or uh, even a Sharpie marker if you're uh, desperate enough. Uh, and when you work digitally, you're really just emulating the same process, except you never run out of ink, the pencil never goes blunt. So it's the same technique. And how do you, like, if you were drawing something from scratch, like, do you always start with the head? Do you start like anywhere to, in particular? No, I mean, um, the, 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 the most important thing with drawing is to go from the general to the particular. So if you're drawing a full figure, you want to get the gesture of the whole figure before you start to put in details. With something like this, which is kind of a quick demo, and you're drawing the head, well, you want to make sure the head fits on the paper and then build the details on top of it. And if people were sort of starting out and wanting to get into drawing and drawing comics and things, yeah. what kind of advice have you got for them? What should they be doing in their spare time? Should they be in classes? Well, if, I mean, if, if you want to draw comics for a living, you've got to really love to draw because, you know, you're going to sit in a room on your own for eight, nine hours a day drawing. So, so you have to make sure that you really enjoy drawing. Um, the, the, the best thing, the, the, the real art of drawing is not actually the marks you make, but it's learning to see. So you, you want to cultivate observation of the world around you, draw from life, you know, draw uh, when you're sitting having a drink or something, draw, draw what's going on around you. If your chosen medium is pen and ink, try drawing directly in pen and ink rather than doing a lot of underdrawing. And, and if you do that, you'll then learn how to translate the real world, you know, into, uh, in, into a drawing. And what kind of is the process when it comes to like comics? Do you go through it from a storyboard perspective and then draw afterwards? Or are you involved in the story? Uh, well, generally you're drawing from a script. So either you will have written the script or a writer will have written the script. And with, within the script you've got, you know, the, the verbal descriptions of the pictures and what's being said in the word balloons. So you have to make sure you leave room for the word balloons. And then w what I would generally do is do a thumbnail drawing of the whole thing, a very, very small, maybe an inch high version of the page and work out all the compositional problems. Uh, you know, you wouldn't actually, that's not really drawing, that is composing and kind of diagramming. Then I would do, um, do a rough of the page where I worked out all the problems of anatomy or um, perspective or, you know, re refine the composition. Um, and then when I got that right, I then ink it in, make it kind of permanent. And the, the, I mean, the, the inking is actually drawing as, as well. You're, uh, you're not tracing, you're, you're redrawing in, in a sense. And the, the pencil drawing just becomes kind of an underpinning for the, for the finished drawing. So I would like to point out here that this is a relatively crude thing to draw with. I would normally use a pen or a brush where you can get thicks and thins, so you get a variety of line and you can add weight and emphasis. Um, but this will give, give you an idea anyway of how it translates from a, a pencil drawing into an ink drawing. And when it comes to like new characters that you're drawing, how do you go through that process? You mean how do you sort of d design a character? Yeah, if you're, if you're making one up like a brand new guy. Well, you, you know, you... you you really want to know what the character's like, what the story of the character is, so that you can make him look as if he might be or her look like they're that kind of character. So I would generally do lots of uh, research. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd look at actors or I'd look at, at, at other characters who had the sort of feel that I wanted. Um, and then um, do loads and loads of roughs and then you eventually do one where you think I'm starting to get that he's starting to sort of talk to me um, and then you just you work on from that and then what what I would always do because you're gonna have to draw these characters multiple times is to actually do what you would call a model sheet 
where you do a, a clear full-on shot, profile, three-quarter shot, uh, and some full-figure shots as well. Because as you work your way through the story, if you only refer to the previous picture that you drew, you'll, you'll kind of emphasize the distortions and get further and further away. So by the time you reach the last page, the character's going to be looking a bit different than on the first page. So um, I always look at model sheets. And uh, if, if you've done all that, if you've done good composition and good underdrawing, and um, you've done the character design properly, the actual drawing becomes relatively easy. You can do it in quite a relaxed and confident way rather than fretting about not having the details right or not having worked the drawing problems out. And obviously over the, the years you've drawn a whole host of different characters. Yeah. Do you have a favour or particular genre that you like doing? Uh, well the character I seem to draw the most is Rorschach out of Watchmen, which, which is great. When I'm at a show in a position like this, he's a very easy character to draw, mainly because you can't see his face. So it's like you have to draw a hat and a block. So that's a really easy thing to do. So that, in a way, kind of makes him a favourite to do. I also like drawing the comedian out of Watchmen because he's got a nice lot of uh, dark clothing and you can put a bit of light and shade in, which makes it look more dramatic. Um, I suppose my favourite character is sort of Superman. He, he was the character I used to practice on when I was, when I was a kid. And uh, he's got a really classic costume and he sort of is the the granddaddy of, of them all. You know, if you're going to draw a superhero, it's, it really all comes back to Superman. Not quite finished. You can see that if I could do a bit of thick and thin, it would, uh, it would help define the drawing a bit more, but I hope this will give the idea. And when it comes to the, the colorization of it in the, in the comics, is that part of the process for you as well? Um, yeah, I sometimes do my own colouring. I mean, colouring is more or less exclusively uh, kind of done on computer nowadays because uh, it means that you end up with a file that you can just send to the printer and you know it'll, you know exactly how it'll print and how the colours will look. So I tend to do that. I've always done my own balloon lettering as well, which is, is an essential part, you know, and that, that adds a lot of the, the sort of magic of, of the comic to it. So this is kind of... I'm. I'm getting towards the end of what I'm going to be able to do here. I've obviously done it a lot quicker than I would if I was drawing at home, and it's, it's not the most perfect drawing that I've ever done. You want me to sign it? Sign it, it'd be great. Okay. There you go. David, thank you very much. Let's uh, show this camera your work. Um, thanks for doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed that bit of a masterclass in comic drawing from David. Uh, you can find the new comic out now. Uh, well, we've done this poster specially for San Diego, and we've got all my greatest hits here as well. So, yeah, everything's going well. Perfect. Thank you very much, David. And for more from Comic-Con, keep it here on Games Radar Plus.